Hey, how you doing guys? It's Nick Bibby and I got some facts for you today and it's going to be about Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean was actually created by uh, the guy that plays Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson, whenever he was actually uh, studying for his master's degree for electrical engineering at Oxford. And one of his friends was inviting him to like a one night show at the Oxford Auditorium building and he didn't know what to do. He does not create, does not write. He had no idea what to do so actually he just stood in front of his mirror and after a couple hours he got what we know as today as Mr. Bean. Uh, he worked together with a Richard Curtis to form the show. They started calling it Mr. Bean as Mr. White and then they started going because he's bland. Just this normal guy, Mr. White. But then they started using vegetable names and that's how they became with Mr. Cauliflower, a white vegetable. But they ended up settling with Mr. Bean. Rowan Atkinson actually has a pretty bad stutter which is why he doesn't like giving too many interviews. And that's why he has trouble saying the word bean, because he has trouble with vowels that come after the letter B. At the beginning of episode two and onward, Mr. Bean actually falls from the sky into the beam of light to the street light uh, with the choir singing. Which is actually Latin for Behold the man who is a bean. They started out, I think the first episode, or maybe even two and three, started out with this where he's just walking by this walking by the streetlight. But it became later on where he is dropping from the sky. People have always theorized maybe it's because he's like a fallen angel or you know he's an alien and that's why he's he fell from the sky. Uh, they've never clarified that, but Atkinson has said in an interview that. He acknowledges that Bean has a slightly alien aspect to him. And that's the closest we've gotten as far as verification on anything. Mr. Bean's first name is confirmed to be Mr. Uh, throughout the whole TV series and the spinoff movies, there are several occasions where he does actually write down his name on envelopes, registrars, and even on his driver's license where it says Bean and his last name and Mr. and his first name. And when we're going to talk about driver's license, you know whenever he drives several times, there's this blue vehicle. This three-wheeled blue vehicle that he always happens to get caused an accident to. This was to show that this vehicle, which is actually a light blue Reliant Regal Supervan 3, uh, was known to be very unstable with his three wheels. The show focused heavily on it being visual and not so much on uh, on audio jokes and because of that this show has been able to go on so worldwide 245 countries has played Mr. Bean on our TV shows. In East Asia it is not uncommon over there to where many people will adopt an Eastern sounding name and during while Mr. Bean was out a lot of boys actually adopted the name Rowan in honor of the actor's name Mr. Rowan Atkinson. And speaking of Rowan Atkinson, uh, there's a few facts about him. Rowan's actually been shown that he's not a stand-up comedian whatsoever. He's not. He, he needs to be on a TV set. He needs to be on a stage in a studio. He doesn't be out and about because he's clearly said, people think because I can make them laugh on stage, I'll be able to make them laugh in person. This isn't the case at all. I'm essentially a rather quiet, dull person who just happens to be a performer. And this can be known as, later on he was uh, confronted in a Toronto, Canada um, mall where a lot of people just started bombarding him, his fans. And he felt it was very, very unsettling being treated like Madonna while he was there. Actually, Mr. Owen's best man and friend has actually said that Mr. Owen spends his off time driving around his go-karts around his tennis courts and does not have an ounce of showbiz in him. Now speaking about him driving his golf carts, I'm, his go-karts, I'm pretty sure he's crashed them too because he is known to be a, a huge uh, fan of fast cars. He has had Aston Martins that he actually enters into the Aston Martin owner's race every year and he also crashes them. He's crashes the Formula One cars, he crashes that in Aston Martins. And that's all I got today. Until next time, tell me know what you want me to talk about next time. So have a good one. I'm Nick Vivi.